Yo guys, it's Nogginator back with another Forza Horizon 4 video, and this one is going to be very interesting. I believe I could turn this into a series, depending on uh, your feedback on it, and as well as you'll list some more cars in the comments below. But as you saw by the title, these are 10 cars that you need to drive and buy uh, in Forza Horizon 4. If you don't see the car you want on this list, comment below, and if I get 10 more cars, then there we go. There's another video uh, for you guys. So number one is going to be the Ferrari FXX. Hey, uh, this is quite the car, about a thousand horsepower. The thing is, it's a very aerodynamic car. It has an interesting wing design. It was one of the better cars in Horizon 3, and it's one of the better cars in Horizon 4. B12 engine and everything. I mean, it, it has great speed, and you can you can go fast in this car and not worry about spinning your wheels. And that's the thing I really like about this car, uh, especially besides the fact that it is already a Ferrari. Number two is the McLaren Senna. If you don't have this car, you probably do. So, um, yeah. Number three, nothing can beat, and this is no no particular order, nothing can beat the Bugatti Chiron here. This, it's like no other car. I mean, that's literally the easiest way I can explain it. I don't know how to explain it. It's a great handling car, a great speed car. It's a Bugatti, and you won't be able to compare it to anything else except maybe a Veyron, I don't know. Easily uncomparable and priceless to any other car in the game. So, whatever you do, save up your money and save up your credits and buy a Chiron. Number four, this is a car that was used a lot in Forza Horizon 3. And yes, it's another supercar, hypercar, yeah, same thing. Koenigsegg 1 to 1, by the name of the car, 1 to 1, 1 horsepower per kilogram. It cost a hefty 2.8 million. But I'll tell you, it's 2.8 million well spent. You could buy a house, but you could buy a Koenigsegg 1 to 1. Just think about it that way. No more explanations needed. Number 5 is perhaps the best car for the winter, perhaps the best car for the summer, perhaps the best car for the spring, perhaps the best car for the fall, perhaps the best car in the game. The Hoonigan Gymkhana Ford Focus RS RX. You can't get another car that power slides like this, that goes fast like this, and is Hoonigan approved like this? Number six is, you guessed it, a supercar, the McLaren P1. This perhaps is the best McLaren. It is one of the higher speed cars in the game. That's right. It's got some good stats. Honestly, it doesn't cost too much. It's 1.3 million compared to some of the other cars. You could probably get it for cheaper at the auction house. Its acceleration isn't as great, but when you look at the top speed of this car, the aerodynamics of this car, just having a McLaren in general, it's, I mean, th that's all I have to say here. Number seven, as we're finally getting away from just the supercarness of this video, the Unimog. The fact that you can put in a $500,000 credit engine swap is all you need to know. Test it out for yourself. I don't want to spoil this. In fact, there's a lot of upgrades you can do to the car, a lot of visual changes you can do to the car. Is it, is it really a car? Number eight is going to be nothing other than the Honda Civic. Make memes out of this if you want to. You can, if, if you like JDM, you like Honda, make whatever rice box you want to make. I don't care. You can't deny that a Civic, Honda Civic, is a car you can do a lot to. You don't have to go down the rice route if you don't want to do that. You can go down the clean Civic, and there are plenty of clean Civics. You can make one if you really want to. It's basically a blank canvas with this car, which is why I can't really say anything about it, because you can have the worst Honda Civic, worst car in the game, or you can have one of the better ones, depending on what you do to it. It's really your choice and what you want to do to the stupid Civic. Number nine, do you like turning without having to brake? Do you like accelerating without having to wheel spin? Then you're sure gonna like the Miata! Number 10. The Renault Lion.